is up everyone? It's Skill up here with another division video. This is my weekly should I buy it? A look at uh, what have the vendors dropped this week? Is it worth buying? And if you do buy it, how do you mod it? I do these videos every single week. So stick around by subscribing if you like that sort of content. Uh, and with that, we can get stuck straight into it. At the DZ3 vendor, things are not particularly great this week. There's the lower level items. We've got a 182 military SA58, which is an assault rifle. We've got a pistol. We've got a 131 scar. None of that we're going to be looking at, obviously. The higher level stuff, we've got a tactical super 90 SBS with vicious, restored and predatory. Not a good pick. If you're going to be picking up any shotgun, at the moment it's going to be either an m870 for the one shot potential in pvp or an sasg for the stagger in pve um, we've also got a military m60 e4 with meticulous brutal and sustained again not a fantastic weapon it's a lower level gear score plus you know Brutal is really the only redeeming talent on this weapon. The 229 weapon is an M249B with uh, restored, with uh, self-preserved and with dominant. None of these talents are particularly good for an LMG. Uh, the slow rate of fire, the low rate of crits, dominant just not being strong, restored being one of the worst talents in the game, it is not a great pick. So definitely nothing worth picking up here this week at the DZ3 vendor. If you're interested in blueprints, there's a custom M44 blueprint, but again, um, you know, and, and also a tactical org. These are two blueprints that we would have been really excited about had they been 229, but sadly they are only 204. So unless you are doing some sort of funky alpha bridge build and you want to be able to craft 204 stuff, then steer clear of this because it's yeah, it's not worth it. At the DZ4 vendor, we see this week they actually have the performance gear mod, which of course nobody wants, but they do have the firearms gear mod blueprint. It's level 32, it's 236,000 Dark Zone funds at rank 50. So pick that one up if you haven't got that already. At the DZ5 vendor today, we've got a few options. We've got a vertical grip wolf gray, which is initial bullet stability. We do not want a mod for initial bullet stability, generally speaking, unless we're perhaps using an M44. Other than that, not really worth it. Uh, we've got a C79 scope. Uh, it's only an item level 30. However, it is accuracy and critical hit chance, uh, which are two great stats to have on your optical slot. So uh, do pick that one up if you haven't got one or if you need one or whatever. On the blueprint side, we've got a vertical grip wolf gray blueprint, which is initial bullet stability, random bonus. It's the same as above here, but you get to craft it yourself. Still not worth it. We have a CQB double S scope. Uh, which is a headshot damage base and a random bonus. That's a really good one to get if you haven't got that one already. Definitely recommend picking that up. And as always, we have the PQ-15 and the Rugged Mini Reflex Sights, which are uh, hip fire accuracy and accuracy as their base. Upstairs at the old uh, sort of special equipment vendor, the one we always used to go to, he's selling the Historian, which he sells every week. I've got my review of that in the description below. Not worth purchasing, so skip that one. We've got a Super 90 with sustained, predatory, and dominant. Nothing worth looking at there. We've got a Custom 44 with cool headed, sustained, and swift. Now, obviously, this is is only a 204 weapon but if you're looking at running an alpha bridge build uh propping up say an m1a then i recommend this one to be honest with you cool head is really nice if you're going to be running capable on your uh, on your other weapon sustained isn't particularly good it only increases your health when you kill something it doesn't actually heal you at the time uh, and then there's Swift. Swift is uh, awful, really, and I would really recommend rolling that away, but it is on the third slot, which means that uh, whatever replaces it will be free and you could roll something good. So do think about this one. It's not a bad option. Um, and finally, we've got a Black Market RPK 74E, which is an LMG, which is excellent. It's got Brutal, it's got Sustained, and it's got Ferocious. Uh, again, only for an Alpha Bridge build, but uh, if you are running, say, an L86 in your main slot, uh, and this is your secondary, you're going to get some really nice talents from this one. I uh, definitely recommend picking it up if an LMG alpha build is your thing. Downstairs in the terminal, we have a uh, another special equipment vendor. He's selling a Covert SRS, which is an awful, awful um, marksman rifle. Do not use this one. Uh, we've got an LVOAC with responsive, accurate, and meticulous. Um, yeah, I mean, responsive, we're really not aiming to be using an assault rifle at uh, 10 meters or less, so it doesn't really fit. Accurate is actually quite nice on this because there is a fair amount of reticle spread on LVOAC and meticulous we would of course roll away but either way it's a 204 
before. So I wouldn't recommend picking this one up unless it was Alpha Bridge and these are not particularly strong Alpha Bridge talents. Finally, we have a G36 Enhanced, which is unforgiving, intense and focused, a truly terrible role. Um, absolutely skip this one. One very important pur purchase at the special blueprints vendor is this bad boy, the Heavy Magazine Spring Blueprint, which is rate of fire and a bonus roll. It's power level 32, which is the best you can get. Uh, and yeah, rate of fire on your magazine is actually really great, particularly when you're looking for burst DPS. Say out of a PP-19, you don't need more bullets out of that thing. You just need it to fire faster. So uh, that can be really great for that. In any PvP context, you kind of want burst damage more than anything else. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty great. And if you haven't got it, I'd really recommend picking it up. Uh, and there's also, of course, a performance gear mod blueprint level 32. But if, yeah, I mean, we're not going to be picking up performance gear mods. They're, they're not a thing yet, sadly. And finally, at the underground vendor, which will be opening up for PS4 season pass holders till on Tuesday, uh, we have a military G36 with deadly skilled and focused. It's the rank 40 requirement. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is actually really good, to be honest with you. Uh, deadly on this works really well. Uh, skilled, I would actually roll away. Uh, it's a fantastic talent. However, 2800 uh, electronics, almost no one goes to 2800 electronics. So yeah, I'd, I'd pretty much roll that away. And focused is not a great talent. I would always roll that away if I could. Uh, but as I said, I think it's more worthwhile rolling away the skilled. So look, uh, as I said, if you've got rank 40 and you're looking for a decent G36, then you could do a lot worse than this one. Other than that, we've got uh, three X45s here uh, at different gear score levels, but none of them are really worth picking up, to be honest. So don't worry about those. And then you've got your random smattering of uh, blueprints and other stuff there. And that's it, guys. That's just should I buy it for the week. If you like this video and you found it useful, do drop it a like. Very excited to see that uh, or to know that PS4 players will be getting the expansion this week. And I've got a ton of videos coming out in relation to that. I've kind of been saving up a few this week, ready for that big drop. Uh, so get ready for that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Take good care and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.